I'm Michelle from Michelle Loves Books. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to day six of the Because We Can Readathon. It is so funny how these things work out. I swear to goodness, every time I have like an idea about something or something I've been wanting to do for a bit, then we have a challenge which kind of pushes me to go ahead and make it a real thing. So I'm glad that this could work out so perfectly. Anyways, the prompt, I didn't even tell you what the prompt is. You're probably like, what the hell is she talking about? The prompt is to transform something into, I forgot what the original prompt is. I have the to transform your world into a fictional one. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you my save file. I wasn't exactly prepared for it. I wanted to do some more work work on it, um, but that's okay. We're gonna go ahead and go with it because it's, it's done. <laughs> So you're gonna go ahead and see a small portion of my Sims 4 save file. So what is a save file? A save file is basically when you have, every time you like, say you create a Sim and then you save your file, with that Sim that you're playing, the whole world or all the different neighborhoods and worlds that come with the game are saved with that Sim. So that creates a save file. You can go into that save file and switch the active Sim that you are playing you can add new sims to live in your world. You can edit the lots, you can build in there. And they're all still in the same universe or the same, they're all still in the same world. You can interact if like, say you're playing one sim, you can interact with all the other sims that you've created and put in that world. And you can even have the other inactive sims age up while you're not playing them. So it's all very cool. So I have been working on my ultimate fandom save file. I actually have mentioned this maybe a couple other times, but in case you haven't seen those videos, so what does that mean? Each world I am kind of creating or fitting in different lots and sims from different fandoms that I love. Obviously things aren't perfect. I do have to make some sacrifices and get creative because of some limitations on lot sizes and whatnot. But I do try really hard to keep some things together. For the Scooby gang from the Buffies all living together in the same world. Um, not that they live in the same house. I've, they each have their own house and their neighbors. Like I just didn't feel like the Harry Potter thing fit in that world. And so I put the Harry Potter stuff in another world. And one day I will share them all with you. But for now, it again is so funny how perfectly this worked out because the first world that is probably the closest to being finished is Forgotten Hollow. And Forgotten Hollow is the world that came with the vampire pack, which is going to be all of our vampire stuff and our spooky world. In this world, I have the Casper Mansion, the Sanderson Sisters Cottage, which is the one I'm going to show you today, the Salvatore Mansion from Vampire Academy, no, just kidding, Vampire Diaries, and Dracula's Castle. And then there's another house that was already there that The Sims made, and I definitely think that a witch needs to move in there, but I don't know yet. I do have to say that I did not build these houses. If I can find the original creator, I will leave credit for them below. Um, so I just downloaded them from the gallery with the intention or expectation that I would be doing renovations. I'm not confident enough in my building skills to build each one of these. Uh, so that's why I ended up downloading them. So I just kind of like, so I can kind of have something just to get me started. Even if I replace walls, at least they're there and then I can kind of tweak them a little bit to make it how I imagine it. Again, also I don't have all of the packs and I don't have, I don't use any mods. So a lot of times when I download something from the gallery, a lot of things are missing because of the missing items. So I do have to go in and fix them up anyways, because those items will either just disappear or be replaced by something else that I do have that's like a similar item. So it's no big deal, but um, I kind of like that it does that because then it kind of makes me go and fix it up. Is okay, there's kind of no helping it because if I turn it off, then it's too dark. So, sorry. <laughs> Welcome to Forgotten Hollow. We're not gonna do a tour of every single lot, um, but this one's the Dracula house, the three sisters, um, and they live in the dungeon. And then we have Jonathan Harker. He is from, you know, the novel. And then we have Vlad the Third 
Dracula. So yeah, these are all the people that reside at the Dracula's castle. Apparently they're all visiting the Sanderson sisters. So I think it's kind of funny. This one is a Salvatore. This one I've actually already remodeled. Um, but I'm not a hundred percent happy with it. Um, but I'm also not being super picky because mostly I'm probably not really going to play these houses. Um, like to be real. Then this is the Salvatore mansion. We have Damon Salvatore, Catherine Petrova, and Stef Stefan Salvatore and they all live in that house. So one of these days, I haven't renovated that house yet. So after when I renovate that house, I will definitely give you guys a tour because obviously bookish. This one's more movie media, but this one is the Casper house, the house from Casper, the friendly ghost. Um, so we have Dr. Harvey and Cat Harvey. Um, Apparently I couldn't put the other, all the ghosts that live in there, but we'll see. Maybe somehow I can figure out how to get some ghosts to live in that house too. And finally the house that we are actually here for that I want to do a tour of because since I'm participating in the Hocus Pocus Readathon this month, I was like, how cool is this? I have the Sanderson Sisters house recreation to tour. So that's what we're doing today. Meet. Sim Sanderson sisters. <laughs> we have Winifred and she, her aspiration is to be, is for, her aspiration is spellcraft and sorcery. This Sim craves deep knowledge of the arcane magical arts. She is a quick learner, will build all skills just a little bit faster. She is evil. They become happy with negative moodlets, can laugh maniacally and discuss evil plans, and become angry when interacting with good sims. That is so perfect. Hot-headed. These sims tend to be angry, can rile up other sims, and become angry when targeted with mischief. Hates children. These sims become angry around children, become tense after trying for bacon, be mean to children and of course she is an occult sim so she is a witch we have mary she her aspiration is chief of mischief and dastardly sim which it, she performs stronger and more successful with mean interactions foodie she has fun when she's eating good food becomes uncomfortable when eating bad food she's clumsy and she hates children again occult sim and then we have Sarah Sanderson. She, here we go, she is, wants to be a serial romantic, which means she wants to date all kinds of different people. And she is alluring, more successful at romance than other Sims. She hates children. She's a kleptomaniac and she's a, whatever, we'll just go to play a Sim, even though we're not playing. <laughs> now this lot is 100% finished. I did, but it was so cluttered with all this stuff, it really didn't even make sense. And so I kind of made it make more sense, but it's still really cluttered. And then I, I think that there needs to be a lot of work done. I wanted to put a graveyard on their lot. Actually, they wouldn't have a graveyard, would they? They don't have a door. No wonder she's mad, she doesn't have a freaking door. I could have sworn there was a door before. Oh wait. I know why there's no door. What's that? Yeah, um, because there's some, I don't know why, but Sims 4 put these weird places where sometimes you can't put a door there. Oh, this says you can't put a door here. Why? Must have deleted it somehow. Okay, let's find out what's wrong. Okay, let's sell that door. Why can't I not put a door here? Gotta move all these cobwebs. Let's put a freaky window up there. Let's see. All right, there we go. Now we have door. So we have all these like brambles and like, oh look at black rocks over here. Um, the uh, person who originally built this put that there. Oh, hey, what is that? Oh, I know what this is. Okay, so this is supposed to simulate that like water wheel thing. kind of hard 
to see back there. Like remember when you first go in, there's like the center like table where they have all the ooky books and stuff because it was like a museum. So we tried to kind of get that. Uh, right here on the book stand, there is the book. So we're pretending that that is the, the fleshy book with the eyes. So, now this was from the original build, all of this with all the um, clutter and just you know leaves and stuff like that because obviously it has been not cared for for a really long time i actually put kind of sort of made like a desk here in the center it's not really a desk but it's a surface um also for i put this in here this um cauldron sanderson sisters had a really big cauldron and they have all of these curio cabinets and just random things and potion bottles up here. I think technically they're perfume bottles, but we're pretending it's potion. <laughs> and then just chests and things all over the walls and just clutter everywhere. Spider webs everywhere and pictures on the wall and this drying herbs. Another little table over here with things. There's like a skull and some books and more um, jars and things, some chairs, this old stove, cabinet up here on the wall, candles on the wall, old clock. Okay, and then here is like a door over here which goes to a bathroom. It's kind of hard to see because of the things, so we'll take a look at it. Bird's eye view, because um, when you make the walls disappear, the pillars don't disappear. Disheveled like toilet and little bathroom in here. So that, that bathroom has the fanciest door. Oh, and there's obviously no paint on this wall. I didn't paint it. I actually didn't know it was over here. Okay, and now we have upstairs. Ups upstairs I have not really messed with. I wasn't quite sure what to do with it. Obviously the sisters need a bath, need a you know, bedroom. I was kind of thinking because I forgot that the little cottage actually is more of a loft style with, so it doesn't really have bedrooms but it has like a loft. So I was thinking maybe what I should end up doing is deleting all of the bedrooms and making like a loft. I'm putting like a ladder that goes up there. But for now, it's gonna stay this way because that is gonna be a lot. So let's see, where did the stairs even come up? They did this, I thought this was really, I thought this was really cool though. There's like, okay, so these, these guys, I wish you could see, it's hard to see. These guys, these skeletons, I think these skeletons might be that size, but this one right here with the dress on that looks like the Day of the Dead thing, um, it's only like a little stand, so they took it and blew it up and put it in the cage to make it look like that. So that was really cool. I really liked that. And then we have still some sticks and stuff growing on the inside. No, oh no, and I don't have the cheat on to put it back. Okay, whatever, we'll just delete it for now. Let's not grab anything else. And then this is where the Sanderson sisters would sleep. So um, all of the walls upstairs had no paint on them that had gotten taken off, so I put, well, I put wallpaper up. So this, I imagine this is probably Winifred's bed, and then this would be like Sarah's and Mary's bed. And then they have a wardrobe. So I feel like they would share a room. And then obviously some candlelight and some decorations. There's like holes and stuff in the wall because it's really old little cottage. Broken vase, picture on the wall. 
and lots and lots more spider webs. Uh, and I guess that's it. So that is my recreation challenge. We did the, the Hocus Pocus. I hope that you enjoyed this. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.